Give me unusual fire. Again, say, Lord, Lord by tonight's meeting, tonight's give meeting. me unusual fire. Give me unusual fire. fire. fire in my life. See tremendous increase. Fire to pray. Fire to speak in tongues. Fire to identify for Christ. Put us hands together and begin to pray. Eko parege sete gedus, reka da sata braga dizia, shante go yego soko te zuga braga da lagadas, lete soko te zuga braga da. Clap your hands, everyone. You need the fire. That is that is the answer to the wickedness of our generation. Somebody shout fire! Clap those hands, clap, clap those hands. Lord, let me leave your presence with fire or usual. Let me leave your presence with fire or usual. Every wickedness bows, bows to the fire. Father, we give you the praise and we give you the honor. Lift up your hands everywhere. Get ready. There's going to be an unusual move of God's power here tonight. I sense it. Lift up those hands. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Obey instruction. Close your eyes. One second is enough for God to do a lot. One second. So the essence of closing the eyes is to avoid distraction. In Jesus' precious name. Please, everybody hear me. For somebody, I have these three declarations I am led to make. I wrote them down in my jotter here. What I'm trying to say is that for somebody, this is your miracle. Amen. So for each declaration, you shout amen three times at the top of your voice. For some other person, maybe your miracle will, will happen through the world. For some persons now, during the prayer, something has happened. Are you ready? Lift up your hands. At the top of your voice. Number one declaration. Your enemies will not see your downfall. I repeat, they will not see your downfall. Number two declaration. Where are the angels working with me in their position? They are released to ensure that these declarations are enforced. Number two declaration. Anything that wants to cut short your joy, I cut it off. Somebody say, my joy shall be full. My joy shall be full. I repeat that declaration. Anything that wants to cut your joy short, I command that to cut off. I like this one very well. Please let there be no noise there, please. Please. Lift up your hands. We are before the presence of God. Let's respect God. In the courts, nobody talks. We dare not talk. Please. Lift up your hands. If the instruments are not working, we can get along without it. Okay? Lift up your hands. I like this one. 42 people will benefit this one before Sunday. This is, no, this is the declaration now. Anything that is supposed to bless you that is being delayed, before this service is over, may God release his weight on that matter. Take it, take it, take it. He got brother, die, I got that. Anything that is meant to bless you, I prophesy from this altar before this service is over. Hey, the weight of God, the weight of God, 
the weight of God on the matter. The weight of God on the matter. The weight of God means the intervention of God. The weight of God means divine intervention of God. I prophesy that thing that is supposed to bless you that is being delayed. Dragging feet, going at the speed of snails. He be subjected to diver protocols. I declare, let the weight of God come upon it. Let us close your eyes, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Shata Braga Santa Laganas, Mekoto Zuga Braga Dalagas, Mekoso. I saw oil dropping on the heads of people, and I asked, What is this oil? He said, Your prayers are answered. Just close your eyes, close your eyes. Answers to prayers, answers to prayers. Somebody should leave this service and go experience answers to prayers. Somebody should leave this service and go and experience answers to prayers. I command the oil to start dropping. Drop, 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 drop. Head down, head down. Thank you, Isa. I'm not serving a deaf God. I'm not serving a deaf God. Why will you be crying and it looks like God is not hearing? Elijah didn't make too much noise. If I be the man of God, let fire come down and settle this controversy. And the fire came and consumed. The Bible said the fire licked the water. Tonight, that yes, the oil is still dropping. That's right. That's right. That's right. And God is saying that the essence why He wants to answer your prayer is because people have laughed at you for too long. They have mocked you for too long. They have talked about you for too long. They have looked down on you for too long. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't believe that anything good can come out of you. That's why He has decided to answer your prayer. Father, 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 let this fire follow them. 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 You feel something like this, like this, entering your life. Something like this coming over you. That is the answer. That is the answer. That that is the answer. That is not the answer. That concession you are experiencing now is the answer. We bow down. There's nothing else to thank you for. Father, because you are going to answer people's prayer after this service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Somebody that had no money. Just come in contact. Everybody open your eyes and hear this. No money. Just come in contact with this pastor talking to you now. Shortly before I stepped down, he called me. And say, Pastor, is all over. What is all over? I am now a millionaire. But he said, he said, he will not be able to be in church because he has to show them all the properties. On each property, millions, 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 millions. 
overnight. Overnight. Two days, can I share the testimony? I say, well, we need to talk about it. Because there are people, if he share the testimony, they will follow him. Not to ask him for secrets. How come? It is well, sir. This of the Lord. This lockdown. It is well, sir. From today, any spirit that makes you beg, that spirit dies off your life forever. Lord, you that changed this man's life. Just last week, I prayed for him. Just last week. Just last week. Last week, Saturday. Today is a millionaire. What is it that you cannot do? There is nothing. Nothing Jesus cannot do. There is nothing. Nothing. Father, have your way and do what only you can do in our midst. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a clap and take your seat. We are still in the month of the anointing. We are still in the month of the anointing. I want to welcome everyone to this moment of wonders and deliverance. I think we have missed it for a long time. Give the Lord a clap. <laughs> Psalm 105. We are looking at verses 14 to 15. Verses 14 to 15 of Psalm 105. I don't mind if we can read together. Maybe somebody had not read the Bible today. One to go. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake. 15. Verse 15. Saying, yes. Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. The Lord God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Very quickly, we are looking at the subject. Anointing for protection. First declaration I want to make. After this service, anybody that will dare you shall die before your presence. That's your amen is not correct. Anybody that shall dare you, anybody that shall dare you, anybody that shall try you, shall collapse before your presence. Somebody shall fire. See, see, we're light alive, lie lazy. Don't, don't dare an anointed person. Except you dreamt and saw where you died and you are looking for where the dream needed to be fulfilled. Every anointed person is an untouchable entity. Untouchable entity. Every anointed person is not a wasteable person. That's why you strive Strive for this oil. Strive to get this oil. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake. Say, touch not what? My anointed. Touch not my, touch not, touch not my anointed. Your name could be Paul. If you are not anointed, the devil can touch you. If you like, call yourself Jesus. If you are not anointed, the devil can mess you up. Okay? So, the anointing we are talking about goes beyond the name you are bearing. It goes beyond the name you are bearing. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake. Say, touch not my what? My anointed and do what? And do my prophets no harm. I am led to make this declaration. God sent you into this world. It's not any man that sent you here. So any man that is looking for your head, I command in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus. Whether the man is in your father's compound, whether the man is in your, in your mother's compound, whether the 
the man is in the company you are living. The woman is in the company you are living. In your business area, wherever the person is, he is not the one. She is not the one that sent you into this world. He is the Almighty God that sent you into this world. And I like you to note that when God sent you into this world to fulfill destiny, He also organized your security. You organize your security. That is why nobody can kill me before my time. <laughs> they don't like your face. They better like your face because you are going to be here for a long time. I'm talking to one person. If I hear your amen, take it. <laughs> you are going to be here for a very long time. They better like your face. They have no choice about it. You are going to be here for a very long time. Some of you, 100 years, you are still here. In another 100 years, if Jesus starts to come. Anybody like that here? <laughs> praise God. I say praise God. Look at something. Ele. An anointed, an anointed person. Samson. Highly anointed. Was just moving. Perhaps maybe the parents were, were in front. Maybe. Because if you, if you read the story very well, I think that should be Judges chapter 4. Either Judges chapter 4 or Judges chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. They were going from the story. That's why I believe that the parents were in front. All of a sudden, a lion. Samson was not prepared for the lion. He was not expecting any lion to come. But the Bible says, and the spirit of the Lord came upon him. And the spirit of the Lord means the anointing of the Lord. It came upon Samson with his bare hands. Samson killed the lion. And the Bible says he didn't tell his parents. That is, it's, there's no big deal about it. <laughs> if it is some of us, that is, we escape lion. Not that we kill the lion. We escape lion. How about them was the testimony? <laughs> Praise the Lord. This God is so good. Waiting the devil plan for me. Eh? <laughs> he, he didn't tell his parents. He, you kill lion. How about? And the spirits of the Lord came upon him. I don't know how the spirit came upon Samson. But I prophesy on somebody here. In your own way and in God's way, that same spirit shall come upon you. If I hear your amen, take that spirit. If I hear your amen, take that spirit. If I hear your amen, take that spirit. If I hear your amen, take the spirit. I mean the Holy Spirit. I mean the anointing. I mean that oil that makes you untouchable. That oil that makes you unfinishable. That oil that makes you indomitable. That oil that makes you unconquerable. That oil that will make people see you and ask you, what will be the secret of your longevity? What is the secret? May that oil drop upon you before you move there. Good news. I heard the voice of God now saying I should declare on you. Go and get it. I don't know what you want to get here. Yes, send me people here. Send me people here. Whatever you want to get, I stand on this altar by the, by the grace of God upon my life. Go and get it. Go, 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 and get it. But I shall remember the Lord I God for it. You see, that give her the power to get. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. I'm speaking to seven persons here. There is something you're about to get. There is something you're about to get. Make a brother such a mother. If God says go and get it, it's as good as got in. If God says go and get it, it's as good as you have gotten it. I speak, I prophesy. With my eyes open on everyone here, your story today in the name of Jesus Christ shall become history. 
Your situation today shall become history. The circumstances around your life today shall become history. The happiness around your life today shall become history. The Lord just told me, say, go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. So the way is open. The way is open. The way is open. Go and get the money. Go and get the paper. Go and get the breakthrough. Go and get the success. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get the contract. Go and get it. Go and get it. There is something that is on the way, and God wants you to get it. I take authority over the spirit of that fashion. I take authority over the spirit of that fashion. God says, go and get it. That means there is something to get. It cannot be given to someone else. It shall not be diverted. What is meant for your hands shall enter your hands from God. It shall not be put into someone else's hand. Somebody said, I got it. I got it. I got it. Somebody shout amen three times. Sit down. You know there's still coffee, Abby. Let's close. Ay, 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 ay. Let the spirits of the Lord. Amen. God. Hallelujah, let the spirit of the Lord Ever come down, let the spirit of the Lord come down All over the world, thy spirit is moving All over the world as a professor should be yeah. all over the world. I say, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord. Yeah. As the world has come as the sea. One more time. cry for some persons that are in this service thirsty, hungry, and desperate is that may God show you mercy and bring you into the place of the oil. There is a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord. As the world has come to every man that God has oiled, that oil exempts you from the wickedness of this world. That oil gives you an exemption. It gives you an exemption. God cannot prepare you and load you and make a lot of investment in your life and allow you to be wasted. So let's close. Why the anointing protects? Why? Three things I will say. Why the anointing protects. Number one, the anointing makes you God's investment. <laughs> the anointing makes you God's investment. Every anointed person you see, no, God had had 
a lot of transaction with that person and he has invested so much in the person. That is all out to seduce that person because of the person and number two, because of what he has put inside you. You know, it takes a lot before an army general is made. You know general in the army? General in the army. They say somebody is major general, a general in the army. A lot, a lot must have been done. He must have passed through fire. He must have, he must have received a lot of injury. A lot. That is why when an army general is like this, short like this, if you get seven head, go and slap him. See, see, see the short man. Army general. He said, I'll slap you. That is that day your own don't finish. <laughs> your own don't what? Finish. General, even too much. Some recruit self if you dare them. Because of so much. And the making of a man of God, I can tell you to a great extent, is more than the making of an army general. The making of an, of an anointed man of God. The making of an anointed man of God. That is why God is jealously guiding them. You are the apple of God's eyes if you are not aware. You have been grave in the palm of his hands if you are not aware. He is standing by you and he says, because I am for you, who can be against you? Who can be against you? That is why he has decided to make himself the shepherd over your life. The shepherd. He said, yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, don't fear any evil. Don't fear because there is somebody, you may not see him, but the person is around. <laughs> it's around, it's around to ensure that you arrive your place of destiny and arrive and arrive where? Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Because of God's investment. Everyone seated in this meeting, if you carry the oil, there is something God has put inside you. There is something God has put inside you. There is something he has loaded in your inside. There are some of us with gifting, with talents, with potential. If the world had not benefited from meat, the devil that will waste us has not been manufactured. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? People of destiny, they don't die until after the fulfillment of their destiny. Am I speaking to somebody here this, morning, this night? I'm telling you, so much, so much, so much, so much, so much, this pastor talking to you died. As a little child, then bury me. No be dream. Real life. A little child, they didn't put me inside coffee. They just used rapper. Just tie me and buried me and started pouring sand. True story. <laughs> they poured the first sand, heap of sand. Poured the second one. I think they, they wanted to pour the third one. And they heard sneeze. Those that went to bury me. What? To your tent? Oh, I was inside, struggling with the sound. Why? Because one day it has been written that I will speak to you. And since I have not spoken to you, that death is too small to claim me before my time. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? There is something inside you. You won't die until that thing comes out. I'm talking to one person here. I want to hear that one person say amen. I want to hear that one person say that there is something, if you didn't hear anything this night, hear that there is something God has embedded in your inside. There is something God has put inside you. Until that thing comes out, the devil is only wasting his time. <laughs> I am fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> Can I hear your loudest amen? Was it? Yes. Where is that woman that they, they, they wanted to kill me because of her? Where is she? The woman that lost her husband were traveling. See her here. I just felt 
let me go for condolence, condolence visit. I carried my wife and I carried one pastor. And we're traveling to Lokoja to see her. And then along Kaduna Abuja Highway, the pastor I was carrying said he wants to ease himself. And I saw he was restless. It was not in my mind, God knows. It was not in my mind to stop. But I saw the way he was restless. And then I decided to park. I start, as I started trafficking, I didn't know that the wicked people saw me. Fulani. I parked. Mommy came out from the car. The pastor came out from the car. And then I was the only one on the road just stretching myself. And then the next thing I saw was Fulani people. Your money, your life. You know, in that year, <laughs> I have never, I have never had that kind of experience in my life. Your money, your life. I say it don't happen to me. <laughs> so I decided to flow with them. I said, you want money? You want money? I give you money. You? I dip money to my pocket. Gave them 20 something thousand. I don't know, but I know it. It was over 20 something thousand in my pocket. I gave them 20 something thousand. And he collected the money and was going back. I thought, since I cooperated with them, no wahala. Beloved brothers and sisters, the next thing I heard was, boy! And I was off. And you know what funny thing? Mommy that claimed that she loves me. <laughs> she saw them. She couldn't say, darling, see I'm brother. But maybe it's tension. She quietly entered. And then that pastor, when he heard the gun shot, boy, the urine went back. <laughs> he shouted, Daddy is dead. So it was the, the remaining story, it was my wife that was telling me what happened. So that when they shot me, he went back and shot again. But I was still standing like a roku tree. Something is inside. I think they shot how many times? I think after the second shot, all of a sudden, I just regained myself. Ha, so what happened? Then I saw they were confused. I immediately I came back. I saw they were confused. They were shooting. This thing was happening around maybe after seven in the morning. We left Kano very early. I wanted to go to Lokoja and return same day. They were shooting the air. Confusion. They were going to my wife. Say, Kai! Matanani. <laughs> you know, I was talking like that. In fact, I thought it was toy gun. Because me, I don't believe you shoot person. And the person will still stand. My belief is God will rather prevent you in coming in contact with anything that would have led to your being shot. And God day. Udeshi. This God day. Please rise on your feet. Walk to 20 people. Say, Odeshi. <laughs> tell them, tell them, Odeshi. <laughs> there is something inside you that is more than bullets. Something inside you. That, from that day, my preaching changed. It was until we, okay, okay, all right. When they shot me and shot me and they couldn't, they said they, they left me and they went to meet Pastor Sam, the pastor that followed us there. And then when that one saw the way his father was being shot and he didn't die, it affected him too. Because they asked him to lie down. He said, I will not lie down. They were telling me to go, 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 where, go where? I will leave that man there. And they shot the car when we wanted to move. And the bullet pierced, just brushed the head of that pastor. If you see the blood, he lost. From the time, 
if to say that pastor died, what they would have said about me in this town? Hey. God to love me. <laughs> and, and I think he was expecting, he was expecting his first child. Because they were believing God for the fruit of the womb when they came to this church. He was expecting the first child. What, what people would have said. We talk up. Don't be so tall they grow. <laughs> Can I pray for you? You carry something. Huh? This thing you are carrying, until this world benefits, you will not die before your time. John the Beloved was dealt with and put inside boiling oil in the land of Patmos. Alright? As a then, he had in him the book of Revelation that he had not written. The book of Revelation was inside him. He had not written it. So they put him inside boiling oil. When the people turned, they saw John the Beloved coming from another direction. No, be this person we will put inside oil. Why? Revelation had not been written. Something is inside you. Are you hearing me? Something is inside you. Let what I am saying now fuel up your trust and faith, audacity and ruggedity and brutality. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Let, let, it, let, it, let it make you move like a lion. Except you are empty. But if you are carrying something, no, that is real, but it's not looking for you. Number two, why the anointing protects? The anointing makes you a touch not person. That is why the anointing protects. It makes you a touch not person. Come, sir, come, sir. Two of you. It will never be your portion. But the good aspect will follow you. All right? This is a wicked hand. Raised to slap this man. And to slap this man. Say, these people are of the same family. I want to finish all of them with slap and make them useless and non entities. Okay? And the hand comes. Bam! No way. Because he carry what? Ororo. He's carrying oil. And then the other hand comes on this one. Boza! The difference is this one lacks the oil and this one carries the oil. That is why at times, at times, in a vehicle, ghastly motor accident, somebody will come out without any scratch. And for your information, new babies are highly anointed. Any child coming into this world is coming with oil. Any child. So hard to see accident and then a little child will die. The other, the other day one pastor had an accident, I think with his wife. They were carrying their baby. Man, the pastor became unconscious. Wife became unconscious. But the baby was under the message is crying. We, they were trying to rescue the, the, the pastor and his wife. Only to hear the cry of the baby. And they looked. Baby crying. No scratch. For baby to fall under. It looks. I think the car was from assaulting. Maybe in the process the baby fell out. This got too much. Take your seat. Can I pray for you? As the Lord God liveth. As you look at me now. Carry the oil. <laughs> Carry the oil. Look at me, everybody. Carry the oil. Carry it, carry it, carry it. Carry the oil, carry the oil. You will not die like your father. You will not die like your mother. You will not die like your uncle. The way they work, you will not go like that. The way they work, you will not go like that. Look at me. Carry the oil. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He removed kings for their sake. 
Say, touch not my anointing and do my prophets what? No harm. Okay, number three. The anointing makes you a judgmental carrier. The anointing, eh? No, hold on. They may be right. They may be right. Number one is what? Number two. <laughs> okay, you gave it number. All of them is number one. <laughs> number three. The anointing makes you a judgmental career. A judgmental career. There are some of us here. It's only when we get to heaven we will know the winches and wizards we have killed. When we, <laughs> when we get to heaven. Judgmental. Judgment. You cannot carry judgmental mantle and then you, 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 you die in the hands of your enemies. Mbanu. Very good instance. The person of Elijah. Light. That was a that was a man that carried judgmental oil. Judgmental oil. Judgmental oil. <laughs> Send down fire. Judgmental man. <laughs> judgmental. Elijah. Uh, Elijah in his days was above arrest. Was above arrest. Just like the early disciples were above arrest. They will lock them in the prison. And before they say praise the Lord, they are in the church preaching. The people are saying they are in the prison. Say which place? I passed the front of the church and I saw them preaching. How manage? Everyone that carries Holy Ghost is a windy material. You cannot arrest wind. You can't catch the wind. You can't catch the wind. You cannot, you cannot catch the wind. They sent a captain with a group of soldiers, 50 in number, go and arrest Elijah. Elijah was in his office as a prophet, a territorial prophet, was in his office, maybe receiving message, maybe communing with God, and then they came, they said, come down there. Elijah said, who? And who are you talking to? Say, you come down there. Who do you think you are? Elijah said, if I be a man of God, Let fire come down. And the fire came down and consumed the captain and his 50. They, at times, eh, at times, some soldiers, they, they behave like Mumu. I'm sorry if you're a soldier here. You, you saw that the first people they sent, all of them died. They sent you to, instead of you to devise a method, that one, two words, say, hey, come down here. Who are you? <laughs> Elijah said, hey, you too. This is another suya material. <laughs> if I be a prophet, if I be a man of God, let fire come down. Fire came down. The third captain, that one is a Yoruba man. Pastor, how did you know he's a Yoruba man? When he went to Elijah, it was far. He dobale. Ekwisho. Elijah said, "Yes, this one is different from the others. <laughs> I know you are highly anointed. I submit to your oil. That was what he did. I bow to your oil." I respect you. I'm a soldier, but I go apply wisdom. I'm sure you must have won the, the soldiers that followed him. He said the first people didn't return. The second people didn't return. You, do you want to return? They say yes. You have wives and children? Yes. You want to see them? They say yes. So let's cooperate. If we go, all of us, double. <laughs> and then Elijah said, okay, this ones, they are not suya material. And they returned. <laughs> he said, go and tell him I'm coming. He said, no, no, sir. No, sir. I cannot go. If I go and tell him now, and maybe the spirit of God carry you from where, from here somewhere else. 
Praise God. Judgmental, judgmental man to me is anybody that wants to kill you will die. That is judgmental man. Anybody that wants to sack you from the office, they will sack him. That is judgmental man. Anybody that wants you to suffer a particular ailment, a particular sickness, the person will suffer the sickness. That is what they call judgmental man. Anybody that wants you to go blind, the person shall go blind. Anybody that wants conversion to kill your child, conversion will kill that person's child. Judgmental man to me anybody that plans anything against you, the thing will return back to the person. Elijah was running from Jezebel. Huh? Running from Jezebel. What a mistake. What a mistake. Running away from Jezebel. What an error. Who killed Jezebel? Jehu. Who anointed Jehu? Elijah. Elijah anointed Jehu. So in Elijah, it was not all the oil he poured on, on Jehu. It was a portion of the oil. But Jehu carried that oil and finished Jezebel. Can I speak to somebody here? Carry a judgmental mantle from this house. That woman that has refused to die in your father's compound, that is reducing your size and has placed you and your entire family inside a bottle. If I be a prophet, I command that woman to aspire from the earth. Somebody shout yes! See, every believer should carry judgmental mantle. This word, otherwise, they will play you like football. They will treat you anyhow. What I'm talking is about is this. If somebody calls you as the person sleep, angel will go and bah! Why did you abuse him? If that man see you coming this way, he will what? I don't know whether you understand what I'm talking about. Anybody will look for your trouble that night, he no go sleep. <laughs> that night, he no go sleep. Demonic creatures go beat until they break. He wakes up weak and tired, powerless, no strength. He can't dare you again. You see, these people that claim to be wicked is because it looks like God is showing them mercy. That is why wickedness is on the increase. That is why somebody wants to kill your child and his, and his first son die. He tries again, the second one die. He will advise himself. I don't know whether you understand what I'm talking about. He will advise himself. He will advi advise himself. See, for your information, in this life, it's not everybody you can knock their head. And you are one of them. I say you are one of them. That your amen looks like you are not sure of what you are hearing. You are one of them. It's not everybody you can knock their head. There are people, if you knock their head, that your hand will remain there for life. Remain there for life. I think... I don't know whether it is true. I have not read it, but I heard that late Archbishop Benson in Daosa, he went to preach somewhere, and then the people carry stone. I didn't read it. I was told. Whether it really happened, I don't know. They said they carry stone. As they wanted to throw the stone at him, bam, the hand. The second day of the crusade, will you go there again? That's what you are talking about. Judgmental mantle. That man carried judgmental mantle. This one, I read it myself. When he was about to step into the ministry fully and he read the word of God. Stand up. No, you. Stand there. Stand there. Go there. Go to the extreme. Just go. He read something in the scripture. As, as he came out in the morning, he said, Father, this thing I read in the scripture. I want to practicalize it, whether it's real. This man that is coming, if I try him, if it didn't work, I believe your word come. This man, gentleman, going on his own, JJ, late Abishop just came and passed. Held him and slapped him. The man became mad. Yes. Started running. Archbishop followed him. Held him again, slapped him. He became normal. I said, sorry, I just tested you. He used you for... <laughs> 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 
I just use it for a test. Judgmental mantle. <laughs> Judgmental mantle. I prophesy from today, carry that kind of mantle. Anybody planning death will see death. Anybody planning accident against you will see accident. Anybody planning your downfall shall, shall fall. Anybody planning sorrow for you shall see sorrow. Anybody planning that you shall cry, shall cry that you cry. Jump on your feet and shout, yes! Take your seat. Let me balance the message. How to assess the anointing for protection by carrying God's presence. Let me finish. By carrying God's presence. By carrying God's presence. God's presence. God's presence. God's presence. God's presence means God. It's the same thing as God. So you are carrying God. Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret what? In the secret place shall abide. Abide. Shall abide. They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that shall not be removed. Psalm 125. But abided forever. They abide. They abide. Carry God's presence. Carry it. Don't, don't sleep empty. Don't travel in a vehicle without the presence of God. Some fellows in America, they went to visit their mother. And then the mother decided to escort them and gave them some uh, and brought some eggs. And brought some eggs. And they said, no, 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 mommy, put those eggs in the right in the boat, in the boat. And then the mommy put the eggs in the boat. And then the mommy came. Say, can I pray for all of you? That the presence of God will go with you. No, mommy, we don't need that prayer. You can pray for the eggs. You don't know these Americans. They said there's no space for, the, for God here, but there's a space for him in the boot. That was what they said. The space for him in the boot, but he had no space. And God heard, and so God went to the boot. They had a terrible accident. All of them died. No egg was broken. Because they said God has a space at the boot. Carry the presence of God. Don't travel without God. Don't, don't, don't go to your business center without God because the earth is full of the cruelty of wickedness. There's wickedness everywhere. Somebody is shaking you but with evil intention. Somebody can even give you gifts but with evil intention. Somebody is embracing you but with evil intention. Somebody is collecting change from you but with evil intention. I stand as a prophet. If they have done anything to you, it is reverse. It is cash you tonight. 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 Cash you. 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 Take your seat. Our God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and power. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Who went about doing good and healing? All that were oppressed of the devil. For God was. That is end of discussion. That is the summary. This thing you see Jesus doing is because God was with him. You can't do anything without God. That is why when somebody, some, somebody distant himself from God, it is time for people to start crying for that person. You can't, you can't achieve anything without God. And number two, living a life that gives... God's pleasure will give you access into the anointing of protection. Living a life that gives God pleasure. Living a life that gives God pleasure. The way you dress is giving God pleasure. The way you relate is giving God pleasure. The way you relate with your wife, the way you relate with your husband, the way you relate with your children is giving God pleasure. Psalm chapter, no, Proverbs chapter 16 and in verse 7. He said, if a man's way pleases the Lord, he maketh his enemies to be what? To be at peace with him. When a man's way is pleasing to God, 
When a man's way please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. To be at peace with him. That's why David, he says, if God is happy with me, my enemy should leave. He said, thou, thou preparest a table before me, right in the presence of who? My enemies. And there are some enemies, I want them to leave to see you drive that car. There are some enemies, I want them to leave to see you become owner of houses. I'm talking to one person here. Because these are things they say, as long as they are alive, you won't get them. So let them leave to see you get double your foot. They say, me, except I'm not alive, come and marry. Come and have child. Except I'm not alive. Talk him as if they are the ones that created you. Who is it that said it? And it's coming to pass when the Lord has not commanded. I'm led to make this declaration. God says I should tell you, fear not. Please, if you didn't hear anything, take note of what God just said now. Fear not. Fear not. Just fear not. So, if you go home now, they ask you from where, say, church, what did the pastor preach? Open your mouth and say, fear not. End of discussion. Can you stand up, walk to seven people, shout, fear not, look into their eyes. Say my last close. Fear not. Somebody shouted, fear not. They said, they said, fear not. He appears in the Bible for 365, uh, 365 times. Fear not. 365 times. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Your life is in the hands of God. So what are you afraid of? There are some people fear will not allow them to sleep. Are you aware? Fear will not. I don't know what they're afraid of. I don't know what they're afraid of. They don't come. It's only wind that is blowing. One man of God went to preach. Let me round up now. The man of God went to preach. And then in the night, after the first meeting, he started sleeping. He woke up at the middle of the night to pray. And then all of a sudden, he didn't know that there was a raincoat hanging. So anytime the fan blows, the raincoat will do like this. <laughs> the fan will blow again and change. So the man of God released fire on nothing till they break. Fire. My God is a consuming fire. Consume, consume fire till they break. Only in the morning to see raincoat. <laughs> Look at somebody say, fear not. Yeah. When this church started, me and my wife, I don't know whether we were together that night. After service, we trekked to maybe Yankura or something and got a bus that took us to Hausawa. Hausawa by whatever there. And then we trek. As we as we're approaching home, as we're approaching home, I saw one woman, Mama Ahmed. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. She refused to cross the road. Holy Ghost, fire. I said, Mama Ahmed, hey, hey, Pastor, thank God you don't come. Join me. Join me. Let's. I said, on what? He said, see the thing. See that black thing. I went close, only to discover that it's leather bag. <laughs> and finally, you want this kind of anointing. You want this kind of, of anointing. Be a sacrificial person. By sacrifice. I'm telling you, by sacrifice. By sacrifice. By sacrifice. By sacrifice. Early hours of this morning, around 3 a.m., I was praying. And I just heard God clearly. Praying for the people's prosperity. God told me, he said, your people cannot prosper. Because they are not getting me involved in their finances. What? He said they are not getting me involved. I became weak. You know, you know, you know, nothing weakens a person like when you are praying and it looks like your prayer is, is a waste. It looks like it's a waste. The people you are praying for, I am praying for you. I, I don't pray for myself. What am I praying for myself? I'm praying for you. 
God told me, he said, they can't prosper. They are not getting me involved in their finances. He said, they are not getting me involved. Please pay your tithes. Please give. Please be a blessing. Just, 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 just let this thing, let this thing enter into your life. Be a tighter. Be a tighter. Be a tighter. Learn it and let it become your practices. God wants to speak some, to some people here. Rise to your feet. Let's close. Lift up your hands and wave them to the King of Kings. Wave your hands and give them all the things everywhere. Make us have a good wish. Look at the Suga Braga Santa Legadas. Look at the Suga Braga Shata Legados. Look at the Suga Badalaga. Please, Father, Father, I beg you to anoint us. Anoint us. Anoint us. But very important, maybe somebody is here. You need, you need to hand over your life to Jesus. You are not yet born again. Okay? You have no rel relationship with Jesus. You are still battling with an addiction. And you are talking about this anointing. You are still battling with an addiction. You don't look like who goes to church. You don't look like who is, who is serving God. You don't look like. Please. 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 You have an opportunity to make your ways right this night. And start a journey of real intimacy with God from tonight. You are watching us online or you are right in this service. You want to hand over your life to Jesus? You want to make him the Lord of your life? You want to call it a pit with that addiction, masturbation, pornography, sex, tobacco, alcohol? Please, I'd like you to say this short prayer after me. And I want you to mean the prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. I come to you today. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. I am now born again. Father, I'm helpless. Deliver me from this addiction. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Please, if you said that prayer, I'd like you to lift up your hands. You are watching us, just lift up one hand. You are in this service, you lift up your hands. You say that prayer. Our officers will meet you wherever you are. Father, I take authority over the hold of sin, over our viewers, and over every life here. Break the hold of sin. Grace to serve you in spirit and in truth is released. In the name of Jesus. Father, let this, this moment be a defining moment in the life of somebody. That we count. Let the person change automatically in Jesus' precious name. Wave your hands and give him all the praise. Wave your hands and give him all. We are going to dance for a minute. Please, if there's anything God has done for you and you miss the testimony, we are not staying beyond it. You miss the testimony. A pastor will be by the entrance of the church. Oh, okay, a minister will be by the entrance of the church. Meet him and let's know what God has done. So that God will be exalted, eldified, and then he will keep doing more for you. Do you understand what I've just said? God, do something for you. You never talk him. Make you go meet one man where they dare. Make you tell and waiting God to so that God will continue to do more for you. Give him all the praise with a shout of hallelujah. Let's go, let's go. Who is leading us? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, we are fire. Yes, we are fire. Yes, we are fire.
Miracles are about to happen now. Eyes of the blind will open. The deaf will hear. The dumb will speak. Lord, the enemies put on your head shall be offloaded. People will receive revival now. People will receive oil for the next level. Doors will open. There are some people, as we close now, you will see good news inside your phone. Are you ready? Lift up your hands. If somebody is falling by your side, don't mind. Somebody is falling by your side, don't mind. Pray. I've written some prayer points here. Just pray. Lift up your hands and say after me, Lord, thank you. I can't hear you. Lord, thank you. Because you have made me a winner. Put your hands together. Go ahead. Is there anybody here that God has made a winner? Father, thank you because you have made me a winner, a winner, a winner, a winner, a winner, a winner. Lord, I give you the praise because you have made me a winner. Lord, I appreciate you because you have made me a winner. Lord, I give you the praise because you have made me. A winner, Lord, I thank you. In Jesus' precious name, if I hear an amen that sounds like thunder, get your result. Second prayer, lift up your hands. Let me leave this prayer. We'll come back to it. Just now, God opened my eyes. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody here. I saw a hand open a door. And then they some demonic beings came and closed the door. What? I refuse to be a victim of an open door while celebrating the door closes. Are you ready to pray? Lift your hands. Father, please, as we pray with this revelation, type our results right now. Say after me, Father, any demonic creature, any demonic beast, closing the door you have opened for me, Fire, shut fire, 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 fire. Put your hands together, begin to pray. Hey, 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 hey. Yada bada la gada gada bada la gada la gada la gada la gada. Raka tasa gada gada bada la gada. Leko shoto gada bada la gada. That demonic creature cannot survive this service. They 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 cannot survive this service. God fire. In Jesus, precious name we have prayed. Let's take the second prayer point I wanted to give you. Lift up your hands, everyone. Let's leave this prayer point. God just opened my eyes again. Everybody bring down your hands and hear me. Hear me. Get the revelation so that you know how to pray. And as we pray this prayer, may God give us scriptures to use to pray. I saw a juju priest. Everybody hear me. Everybody hear me. Because right now, a disconnection will take place. Now. Now, a disconnection. A disconnection. That's right. The angels are here. They're already here. They came to disconnect. 
They just entered the church right now. The angels just entered the church right now. They are here to disconnect. A juju priest brought out a basket from inside an altar and gave it to somebody to fetch water from river into a drum. But the next to somebody to labor in vain. What do you shout? Something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. God is showing me three families that can be delivered tonight. Three families that can be disconnected tonight. Three, 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 three. Three families that can be disconnected. Three families that can be disconnected. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. What? That juju priest must catch fire. The juju priest in your village is catching fire right now. That old man in your father's compound, what he does is to make enchantment and to cast spell and to make evil decree. If I be a prophet of El Shaddai, I declare as we pray now, let angels travel to that person's destination at the speed of light. Lift up your hands. You will see what will happen now. The angels, they came to disconnect you from that altar. Because enough is enough. That is why some of you are not succeeding. Basket to fetch water from river to inside a drum. What kind of labor is that? Ushers, watch out. Power of God is delivering to your families. Lift up your hands. Say, oh Lord. At the top of your voice. Say, oh Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Deliver me. And my family, let's use the correct word, disconnect, disconnect us, disconnect us, disconnect us, clap your hands and begin.